Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Modern Warfare 3 Team Deathmatch gameplay commentary. Here I am in the map C-Town using the KSG-12. This gameplay is part of the Quack Clan Revival Tour coming to a Team Deathmatch server near you. Now, I talked about this series a long time ago, a few weeks ago. Those are many videos ago. I talked about a series I was doing in which I was going to talk about differences between Call of Duty and Battlefield and things called... Call of Duty can learn from Battlefield and things Battlefield can learn from Call of Duty. And I asked, I was asking you guys or those those more intellectually driven of you to keep an eye on the comments and to make sure people are understanding that this isn't meant to be a series in which or that paints one or the other better than than its than its counterpart. I'm here talking about Call of Duty and Battlefield. This isn't meant to be, say that that Call of Duty is better than Battlefield or Battlefield is better than Call of Duty in this specific instance and perspective. Although I am going to do a series in which I, I say things that Battlefield can learn from Call of Duty. So I again reiterate and ask you guys to keep that in mind when you're commenting and watching this video. But I want to jump right into it. These are the things that I, some of the things that I've highlighted Again, I may not have time to get to them all in this video. I will do more as you guys, depending on the reception. Uh, if you guys enjoy this series, go ahead and drop a like. If there's a lot of uh, if there's a lot of discussion in the comments, that'll be great too. That'll let me know that it's uh, that it's invigorating and polarizing, and and uh, and I will do more. But things that, that Call of Duty can learn from Battlefield, I chose to focus on this aspect first because innovation in the Call of Duty series is something that a lot of people, critics and myself included, have lampooned the series for, or at least a lack of it. Uh, people have said there's a, there's a complete lack of innovation when it comes to, or at least uh, big time innovation. We're talking here about, like, let's say the difference between COD 3 and COD 4 with the introduction of the multiplayer perk system that was a pretty big difference and we haven't we've been hard pressed to see anything like it since then and that has been a, a very legitimate criticism of the series up until this point and and I think that that that's a hot topic and a, and a lot of people will uh, will like to hear about it and talk about it and also because you know what I really do like Call of Duty I like it as a game I think it's fun I think people I, I think people take it a little bit too far in terms of, of its competitive nature or, or realism because it is an arcade shooter uh, more so than, let's say, something like Battlefield, uh, which is meant to be a closer to a war simulator. I'm not saying it is like war or it is a, a, a analogous to war. That's not what I'm saying, but uh, but it is a little bit closer. But things that Call of Duty from Battlefield, number one, first and foremost, this is a huge thing for me, and I've talked about it time and time again. I've mentioned it, and that is a, a two-disc packaging. Now, the reason Battlefield 3 shipped with two discs for the Xbox 360 is because the Xbox 360 still runs on a DVD system. They, it still uses DVDs as opposed to the PS3, which uses Blu-ray, which can, uh, the Blu-ray discs can handle a lot more data, and, and the data can be read faster. So Battlefield 3 copies on the, uh, on the PlayStation 3, I don't think shipped with two discs, but uh, the Xbox 360 versions did. And the reason they do that is because the DVDs can't handle a lot of data, or they can't handle uh, as much data as they need in order, to, in order to fit the entire game onto a single disc. Now I say that Call of Duty needs to start shifting to a, a multi-disc packaging because a lot of developers, Treyarch, it started with Treyarch and we have seen it again with Modern Warfare 3, developers are saying that they are running out of disc space or that they are completely out of disc space. I, I did a video about gore and in the comments section, and I completely blanked on this, but a lot of people brought it to light, was that Treyarch in making Black Ops had to choose between gore and extra weapon camos or weapon camos. They had to choose between all the weapon camouflages that you had in Call of Duty Black Ops and the gore that we saw in World at War. And the reason because of that was or the reason that was is because the DVD that that was the uh, that shipped for the Xbox couldn't hold as much data. And again, it wouldn't be fair to have the PS3 have all these extra things over the Xbox 360, so the Xbox 360 is the limiting factor. So I don't want to hear, especially with Call of Duty being a billion dollar, billion dollars in a few weeks they generate this. We're not talking here about an, an entire title generating a billion dollars. Call of Duty, a single Call of Duty title, generates a billion dollars in revenue in a few weeks. 
you, you being Activision, can afford to ship a few extra discs in the packaging so that we don't have to hear developers say, oh, well, we had to choose this between this and this gameplay aspect that a lot of people want because of disc space. No. Give me one one disc for multiplayer, another player, another disc for single player. And what that will also do is force the developers to come up with actual campaigns. A four-hour campaign, which is what we get in Modern Warfare 3, is absolute crap from a AAA shooter that charges 60 bucks 60 bucks a pop. That is ridiculous. That's unacceptable. And uh, number two here, the this is or num number two is something that I've that I've been harping on uh, for a while, and and actually it's come to a head in Modern Warfare Three is is bigger maps. I'm not talking about battlefield size maps. I don't want that for for the Call of Duty series because again the way the Call of Duty game plays and has evolved, it is its own series with with its own gameplay, which is tight close quarters battle. But we can do with a few extra big maps, I think, and that would definitely uh, increase uh, the 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 varying ways the game is played so let me know what you guys think in the comments below again drop a like on this video if you want more we are going I, I will continue this video series so go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed but anyway guys that's my time i got to get out of here thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed i am out